<clears throat> copyright disclaimer, copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is mad for fair use. For purpose such as a criticism, common news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research, fair use is a use permitted by copyright statutes that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips. The balance in favor of fair use. This is fair use for educational purposes. This is part of news. Call law Yahweh by Shem Shai. Call law Yahweh by Shem Shai. All praise and honor and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash. Shalom, Labakarium, Shor Yasharala, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. <laughs> this is only for the house of mourning. This is only for the house of faith. The sincere believers that believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And what are we seeing? And it's sad that we live in the age, but this is Esau's system. This is the famine of the word that we have to actually do a, a, a disclaimer because these devils, they're constantly uh, flagging, uh, copywriting us. They're, f um, you know, just for little shit, man, you know? And, you, and, and, me <clears throat> and meanwhile, you know, you got all types of wicked, crazy shit on YouTube and, and they're, they're, they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing, but, but, but see... Like I've said before, I believe through the spirit that um, this man's government, they already have uh, a department, uh, just a personal department for the uh, Israelites, man. That's it. All right. That's it. But um, let's get to the video. I'm going to let y'all hear this through the spirit. I'm going to let y'all hear this. Yeah, so um, that's exactly what's, uh, you know, what this devil is doing. See, what you got to understand is devil, it's always a couple of steps ahead of you Israelites. But the Heavenly Father has given us six, seven steps ahead of him through these prophecies. So we see this through the spirit. And the Lord has given us that eyesight to see what's going on. This devil is about to reissue, all right? Uh, the regulation, this is a bill that was signed in um, uh, 2020 when the C-19 came out, right? And now they're going to be able to reissue it <clears throat> in order to enforce quarantine. And then, as you know, there's so-called a new variant out there. You know, you got people getting sick now. You got these certain people getting sick. So... This devil is about to slowly, just like the snake he is, he's slithering his way in to attack the, the poor. 
you Israelites. You know, now what you got here is, um, as you can see up here, let me go up first. This is uh, um, 2023, 2024 uh, legislative session, Senate Bill S7250. All right, this is a bill that was, um, you know, issued from your, your, your dear government. All right. And, and you heard you heard my man. He said emergency what they want to do. See, you got to understand these buzzwords that Esau uses. Uh, we, we, we need an emergency evacuation. We need an emergency uh, 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 beetle juice. We need emergency uh, this and that. That's just enforcement. But see, they, they caused the problem. And just like the apostles always going in. Uh, a, a, how, how you say, ab chaos, something like that. I keep forgetting how, 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 how it goes. Order, out of K, order ab chaos. And that's what they do. They, they, they start the problem and then they find a resolution. But they're the ones that's doing it. See, Esau's playing both sides because that's who he is. You know, he's a serpent. Remember that. All right, so this this is it. This is the Senate bill, all right? As you can see, uh, provides requirements for sick leave and provision of certain employees' benefit when such employee is subject to a mandatory or precautionary orders of quarantine or isolation due to C-19. And they're reissuing this because they're going to come down with great wrath, all right? This devil's gonna come down with great wrath, man. All right, this is this is what's coming, and this is all. This is all. This look. This is all. This is all designed. Revelation twelve. This is um, all designed by Esau, man. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, which means deceiver. The trickster him, <laughs> the trickster Esau, you know, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. See, these devils already know that their kingdom is fallen. They only have a short time. Trust me. The super elites know they have a short time. You know, and seeing, seeing the Israelites, seeing so-called Hispanics, uh, blacks, Native Americans waking up to their true identity is a threat to them. <clears throat> is a threat to them. So as you understand, they're going to reissue this. And this is going to probably come uh, uh, to the whole Babylon the Great in America. You know, because they're about to bring that quarantine. They're going to try to isolate. This is to, uh, to bring another um, lockdown. All right. Because they're already preparing the way, man, with these uh, new variants. They're the, they're the ones that unleash these variants, man. You know, and, you know, this time, hey, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be something. 2024 is going to be something, man. And that's why we prepare ourselves, brothers. Now, let's read. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You brothers can look this up, you know, you know, on Google, you know, the quarantine bill. That was just uh, implemented, reissued in 2023 this year, before April 1st, 2024. And it says here, um, uh, sponsor Cooney, Cooney, title of bill, an act to amend chapter 25 of the laws of 2020 relating to providing uh, requirements for sick leave and provisions, right, um, to subject to a mandatory or precautionary quarantine. So this is this they say mandatory, meaning you're you're gonna be forced. All right? You're gonna be forced. And this is going to cause uh, 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 an uproar here in Babylon the Great, man. Trust me. All right, once they lock this place down. All right. And this is only all this all this doing. This devil is doing all of this because he has to implement the karagma. The karagma is going to be like um, the antidote of all the problems. You know, as long as you get this, we'll, we'll be okay. You know, 
But they have to start. They have to start. Let me see. Um, a press. Uh, man, Salakia. Uh, bear with me. It's early. Bear with me, man. Uh, it's five in the morning. You already know. Press the needy. All right, here we go. Let me see. I'm looking for it. Matter of fact, where's I think it's Psalms 37. And I'm, matter of fact, let's go there. Matter of fact, let me see something. Man, I'm still bugging. It's still early for me. There you go. Proverbs 22 and 16. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> Damn, these alleys is killing me, man. This is uh, Proverbs 22 and um, 16. All right. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. And who's oppressing the poor? The poor would be the Israelites. And this is all about power and money. All right? Co uh, total control. All right? This is all about co total control. Remember that. Uh, uh, total control, man. All right? Psalms 37, verse 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. All right? Matter of fact, Psalms 37. Let me go... Uh, I'm going to come back to this because it's all about the karagma. Remember that. They have to, uh, 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 um, they want to mandatory implement the karagma. That's all. That, that's the goal of Esau, Edom, the tag, the whole world. This is total control under the WEF, you know, uh, that is run and controlled uh, by the super elites, man. All right. So this is what they want to do. All right, so the scriptures say, fret not thyself because of evildoers, which are these uh, super elites. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they, shall, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, man. So we have to allow this devil to do what he has to do. And, and like I said in, in the beginning of this lesson, uh, uh, this man is always three steps ahead of you regular uh, uh, mere mortals, man. You Israelites, you heathens, but the prophets, the men of the Lord, uh, the Heavenly Father has given uh, seven steps ahead of him through these prophecies. So we see what's coming. And this is why the Heavenly Father said in, a, in the book of Ezekiel 3 and 17 uh, uh, to warn the house of Israel. And that's, that's our job, you know. Uh, but let him do what he has to do. All right, this is the devil. He has to do that in order, in order for the Lord to uh, to defend and act on our behalf. And that's what the Heavenly Father is going to do for the elect. He's going to do for the children of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, the elect lady, children, you know, the men of the Lord. The Lord is going to act on our behalf. He's going to defend us. All right. As he said, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb, man. All right. So this devil is already in the process, already being uh, destroyed and withering away right now as we speak. You know, uh, trust in the Lord. That's the key. We're going to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and do good. So shall, so shall thou dwell in the land. And verily thou shall be fed. And that's going to be the kingdom. Ultimately, we're going to be given the kingdom. Delight thyself also in the Lord Yahweh. And he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Man, you know, can you imagine that? The desires of your heart, whatever you're thinking about, you know, the Lord is going to bless you with that. You know, and it's, it, 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 it's, it's, man, look. 
I got to I got to screenshot that because I haven't read that scripture in a while, you know, and the desires of your heart. You think about that, brothers. That's man. Look, the scripture speaks about the Lord uh, lifting up that standard, man. And the heavenly father is going to give uh, 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 certain men, certain prophets, you know, spiritual powers. And you can you, you now there's things that we imagine right now. You know, flying, floating, walking, uh, uh, destroying Esau's uh, military uh, uh, men, whatever the, the whatever situation we in in Jacob's trouble, the Lord is going to fulfill that desire that you have. You know, I know you hear plenty of times the the apostles and brothers, myself, you know, speaking about I just can't wait. If it's my lot, my the will of the Lord to give me some spiritual powers, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. That's the desire of your heart, man. You know? So, you know, keep... Man, listen, man. The Lord going to do some wondrous things for us, man. All right? Verse 5. Commit the way unto the Lord Yahweh. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. See? The Lord is going to make sure he does it. He's going to bring it to pass. As long as we commit ourselves to him. All right? Uh, being faithful to the end. Enduring to the end. You know? Uh, 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 that's what that means, man. The Lord is not a man that he should lie, man. The Lord is not a man that he should lie, brothers. All right? Let's get that real quick. All right? Uh, numbers <clears throat> 23 and 19. Uh, the Most High Yahweh is not a man that he should lie. Neither the Son of Man. That the that thee shall repent, have he said, and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So the Lord is gonna He's gonna bring it to pass, just like He said here in the Psalms. We're gonna pray unto the Lord. Yahabashim Yahusha, help me right now. Father, help me, deliver me. Yahabashim Yahusha. Man, the Lord gonna bring that spiritual powers upon us. We gotta believe this, man. You know, we got to believe it. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, man. All right? Seize from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yet thou shalt diligently consider his place, and this shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. This is the point. The wicked plotteth against the just. And that's what he's doing right now. That's what he's doing with these new bills. These are unrighteous decrees. Right? These are unrighteous decrees. All right? The wicked plotteth against the just and gnash it upon him with his teeth. And when you think about your teeth, where are your teeth at? Your mouth. So this man is speaking with his mouth. His teeth represents his his uh his his um his spewing of hate towards you. And how does he do it? By these decrees. He speaks these decrees to life. You know, these unrighteous decrees. The, spi spi uh, the, um, the scripture talks about the strife of tongues. All right. Uh, the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. So let him do what he has to do. Let him do what he has to do, because eventually the Lord is going to laugh at him, man. You know, the Lord has him in a, in a, in a snare, man. All right. Strife of tongues. Yeah, Psalms 31 and 20. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. See? The elect are going to be hidden. The Lord is going to be on our side when all hell break loose, man. You know who's the proud man? Esau. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. See? So when this man keeps doing these unrighteous decrees, quarantine, enforcement, 
uh, all these new bills with S7250, SX380 bill passed by the Senate. That's all because he's coming down with great wrath, man, because he knows he had but a short time, man. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to finish it with this, Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High Yahweh Yahshua shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain upon him while he is eating. And this is going to be once he has uh, 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 the people uh, tagged, man, with the karagma, man. This man is going to fill himself. He's going to feel so proud, like, yes, I've done it. I'm doing it. But what the Lord said, what did the Lord say? He shall rain it upon him while he is eating. The scripture said when he is about to fill his belly. All right. This is this is once he's already getting the people tagged around the world. It's not going to be something that's going to be long. It's going to be a short time that he's going to enjoy because let's go into this word right here. Sufficiency. All right. In the full, no, no, in the fullness. Showing you that. You know, it, it, it's going to be uh, once he once he has, you know, uh, the world tag, just like he did uh, uh, um, the C-19, you know, he's going to um, he's going to do the same. Now, it was this moron that came on the comment boards. Let me see if I can find it. This asshole. You know, let me see if I can find it on the videos. Uh, one of the videos, the uh, the Ak I know did. Where is that? Right here. The brother did a lesson. What? Hey, so I won't give an All right, on um, you know how Esau is coming down with great wrath. He got this new virus, et cetera, et cetera. And um, you had this moron right here. Where you at? Where where is he? Where is he? Is it here? Well, let me get it on. Um, let me get it here. I think I seen it here. All right. Where where what is it? Here you go. This asshole right here. Okay. Um, as you can see, he he's gonna go. He says, Musk brain chip is a distraction. M O T B is liquid. Nigga said MOTB is liquid. That's what he said. All right. You know? And as you can see, the brother, um, he put, otherwise, it would take 25 years for everybody to line up for getting Musk implant. Did it take 25 years to get the whole, almost the whole world, or not the whole world, but you know, did, did it take 25 years for this man to uh, have all? millions upon millions upon millions to take that Beetlejuice? No, it didn't. All right? But this to show you the mind of the people, man. They're, they're, they're merrily being distracted themselves. Here he's speaking about distraction, but he's being distracted by, by the, <laughs> like, come on, man. And the brother put a scripture up here. Ezekiel 12, 26 and 28 and LNT. Then this message came to me came to me from the Lord Yahweh, son of man. The people of Israel are saying he's talking about the distant future. His visions won't come true for a long, long time. Therefore, and we gotta we gotta get out of heart. So, uh, therefore, tell them this is what the sovereign Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshua said. No more delay. I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the sovereign Lord. Yahabashim Yahshua have spoken. But it's to show you the mind of the people. This is what this man is going to be distracted. He's going to be destroyed, man. Obviously, he has not, he, he, he's, he don't want, he don't know the truth. You know, and the people going, hey, like the apostle Tahar and the apostles have been saying, man, uh, you're going, hey, these people are going to be distracted, man. You're going to be, you're going to get caught up, man. They're going to get caught up. But so let's go back to this word fullness. Right here, accomplish. Once this man accomplished, 
his uh, karagma, that's it. That's the fullness, man. All right? To be satisfied. You know, damn devil going to be satisfied. He's going to be like, yes, it's working. I got him. You know? I got him. Complete. See? In the fullness. Complete. Complete. To be filled. Complete. All right? See that? Complete. All right? Confirm. All right? Look at this. Be at be at an end. See? Be at an end. This is this is it. Once this devil accomplished, that's gonna be the fullness of his sufficiency. Once he accomplished and he sees that he has the world quarantined, he has the world uh, uh Karax, he has the world under his uh control. Man, this devil gonna fill himself. But at that moment, it's not gonna be long. At that moment, man, it's not gonna be too long when the Lord comes and deliver the elect and destroy this man, all right, and his kingdom in fire, all right? So we have nothing to worry about because the scripture tell us. Let's go back to it. Uh, let's go back to Psalms. What was it? Let's go back to the Psalms. <clears throat> let's go back to the Psalms, all right? Okay, let's go down. All right, right here, verse verse 12. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnash it upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken see so eventually the lord is going to destroy this man man all right call all praise and glory and honor and reverence and worship is to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim kakadash shalom lobakarium shaw yasharala double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule well and shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady once again, this is only for the house of mourning, the house of faith. The true believers, sincere brothers and sisters out there that truly believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, brothers. So we see it, man. This man is setting up shop, brothers. But <laughs> eventually he lose. He lose. You know, matter of fact, let me see something. Uh, the devil's advocate Keanu Reeves tells Al Pacino we lose <laughs> that was my joy Damn, which was my scene? He, he was telling him we lose. Let me see. Is this invention going to put eye doctors out of business? These self-adjustable glasses are taking the world by storm. You were right about one thing. I have been watching, couldn't help myself, watching, waiting, holding my breath. But I'm no puppeteer, Kevin. I don't make things happen. It doesn't work like that. What did you do to Marianne? Free will. It's like butterfly wings. Once touched, they never get... Yeah, we don't have no free will. That's some bullshit Christianity. <clears throat> But let's see if we could, hopefully he makes, I think he may, I think in this scene, he's going to, um, I think this is the scene where um, he's going, he's going to, he's going to speak on his speech and he's going to actually um, uh, tell Al Pacino, which is, is supposed to be his father, which is Satan, supposed to be Satan, but he's definitely, um, 
he's definitely representing um he's definitely representing um uh Esau movie, you know? So let's go. Get off the ground. No. I only set the stage. You pull your own strings. What did you do to Marianne? A gun? In here? God damn it! What did you do to my wife? Well, on a scale of one to ten, ten being the most depraved act of sexual theater known to man, one being your average Friday night run through at the Lomax's household, I'd say, not to be immodest, Marianne and I got it on at about five on. Fuck you! Oh, 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 oh got me! Got me! Yes! Wow! Oh, oh yes! Yes! Step on up, son! Come on, that's good! You gotta hold on to that fury! Yeah, that's the last thing to go. That's the final hiding place. It's the final fig leaf. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Never lost a case. Why? Why do you think? Because you're so fucking good. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> oh, man. And, and that, that, that's, um, that's, um, that's Satan for you, man. That's how Esau feels. You know, Esau feels like that because he's running the world but everything he's doing right now is because uh, uh satan is um is um he's conjuring satan satan is on his side in order that's why this world everything that this world offers uh, uh is wicked but it comes from satan this is satan's playground and the elites are 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 being con they're being possessed by satan you know they actually pray on to satan they worship satan you know the, these devils but they don't understand the lord <laughs> the lord hired satan to do that the lord's been doing that that's why you you uh, you know yeah, look man you gotta that one thing these people don't understand is that you know that satan works he's an employee of yahweh about shim yahushai man so as this scene, you heard his scene, he was like, how, how, how you think you won all those cases? You became this super uh, uh, renowned lawyer, you know, because you're good. <laughs> and that's like Esau. Like, like, come on. The scriptures, man, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. You know, this is uh, Job uh, 30. Uh... Eight. They were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. They were violent in the earth, man. These are the Edomites. They're base men. These are these are original men that were, were crawling on all four. All right. And the Lord, what did the Lord do? Is it because Esau is the greatest being on the planet Earth? This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai ruleth in the kingdoms of men and give it to whomsoever he will. You can't tell who the Lord wants to put in power. He put this devil in power and set it up over it the basis of men. That's what the Lord did. Is it because he's great? Oh, Esau, he controls the world. He's the man. He's No, it's not because he's great. It's because the Lord did it. And the Lord set up a caveman over the earth. Just like he, Al Pacino just said, because you think you good? No, man. Listen. Never lost a case. Why? Why do you think? Because you're so fucking good. Yeah. But why? Because you're my father. I'm a little more than that, Kevin. Awfully hot in that courtroom, wasn't it? What's the game plan, Kevin? 
was a nice run, Kev. Had to close out someday. Nobody wins them all. What are you? Oh, I have so many names. See, call me Dad. Mary Ann, she knew it. She knew it. She knew it, so you destroyed her. You blaming me for Mary Ann? Oh, I hope you're kidding. Mary Ann, you could have saved her any time you like. All she wanted was love. Hey, you were too busy. That's a lie. Mary Ann in New York? Face it. You started looking to better deal her the minute you got here. That's not true. You don't know what we had. You don't know anything about it. Hey, I'm on your side. You're in love. No, uh, hey, Kevin, there's nothing out there for you. Don't be such a fucking chump. Stop deluding yourself. I told you to take care of your wife. What did I say? The world would understand. Didn't I say that? What did you do? You know what scares me, John? I leave the case, she gets better, and then I hate her for it. Remember? I know what you did. You set me up. Who told you to pull out all the stops on Mr. Geddes? Who made that choice? It's entrapment, you set me up. And more yes, the direction you took. Popes, swamis, snake handlers, all feeding at the same trough. Whose ideas were those? You played me! It was a test, your test! And Colin, knowing he was guilty, seeing those pictures, what did you do? You put that lying bitch on the stand. You brought me in, you put me there, you made her lie. I don't <coughs> do that, Kevin. That day on the subway, what did I say to you? What were my words to you? Maybe it was your time to lose. You didn't think so. Lose? I don't lose! I win! I win! I'm a lawyer! That's my job! That's what I do! I rest my case. Don't buy another winter coat until yeah, you... Know, it, was the one. it was another scene when he actually said, he, he tells him, we lose. We lose. Dad. Devils. Damn, man. I wish I could find it. Because I got to end it. I'm going to go back to work. Oh, no, that's cool. Who are you? Man. God damn, where, where is it at, man? This is some pitch, all this. You must need me pretty bad. What do you want? Well, Eddie was right. I want you, boy. He's gonna set this whole thing. I have to do a little better than that. I know. I'm just getting warmed up. You want more, don't you? You deserve more. How about the thing you love the most? A smile from a jury. Ooh, that cold courtroom just giving itself over. <clears throat> bending to your strength. I get that on my own. Not like this. I take the bricks. It's the ultimate backstage pass. It's the new priesthood, baby. Did you know there are more students in law school than there are lawyers walking the earth? We're coming out! Guns blazing! The two of you, all of us, acquittal after acquittal after acquittal until the stench of it reaches so high and far into heaven, it chokes the whole fucking lot of them. In the Bible, you lose. <laughs> We're done. You see that? That's it. I mean, I, that's it. I found heaven, it. it chokes the whole fucking lot of them. That's it. In the Bible, you lose. We're destined to lose, Dad. Well, consider this. You see that? You, 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 you devils, you Edomites are done. You, know, you destined to lose, man. <laughs> Shalom.